which means that 70% of us is made of the most magical element that exists in between the elements due to the transformations and to the quality of water itself. Water can be solid, can be gas, and can be liquid. Water constantly transforms. Water Water constantly mirrors, modify, change, transmit, purifies, is the most powerful channeling tool existing in nature. So that's what our bodies are, the most powerful channeling tool that we have in this life. Our bodies know, know what we feel, how we feel and what we want before our mind, before our emotions. It's true, the mind is very powerful and our emotions can affect our body, so if we are stressed, our body feels heavier, and uh, if we apply meditation or positive thoughts, the body feels better, but the body itself is the first thing coming. It's always affecting everything else. To me, I think that's what body could be defined as. The most magical tool that we have in this life. What's body for you? Body is basically a machine. The body is what our soul is using to walk in this planet to learn. As you were saying, it's obviously the most magical tool that we got because it allowed us to be here and to experiment what we call life. But in itself, the body is like a computer, in my opinion, like a whole machine that is built to function. And there is, it's made, the materials that is made are related to well, the planet that it's made from. And, and the concept that we have that the, the body is something fixed, something immutable, a part of the process of aging and growing, it's fake. Like, if for something it, the body is magical, it's for for the, 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 the chances to transform their... Like, you can transform a body completely just to suit the needs of your soul. And... And that's great, because it shows that the body is something flexible, and it's so, not something that... is only for conditioning you. Obviously, the body, I think, is one of the... is one of the most annoying things to carry in spiritual you know learning because it has a lot of needs and as well it has emotions who are recurrent and who goes in circles and they tend to be very fucking annoying sometimes but say that because of you have a body you can smell a flower you can have sex you can swim in a in a beach you can eat food and yeah, it's an enjoyable experience. Enjoyable? Is that a word in English? Enjoyable? It's an enjoyable experience <laughs> to have one and to manage one. But I think nowadays body is something that is almost canonized. It's something that it needs to be... It's sacred. Like we are just worshipping the body. And then all bodies are getting sick because of that, because our mind is just pushing too much pressure in the vehicle. It's like if you have a car and you are rushing and rushing and rushing and rushing, one day you are going to fucking crash. And the body is that as well. It's a machinery, a perfect divine machine to allow us to experiment the universe, Earth, and the inner and the outer worlds. 
just another tool of the living experience.